smoke signals from around the campfire. So my pitch is that the rebellion, and I'm talking about Extinction Rebellion, which is having such a big impact, as it should do, in the UK and around the world at the moment, the rebellion starts with rewilding. Yes, the rebellion, Extinction Rebellion has three demands. Tell the truth. Talk about what's going on. Take action. It is a climate emergency. We need to act. Those with power, and that's all of us, we all need to confront the truth and look the truth in the eye and say, what can we do? So the response of the rewilders within the Extinction Rebellion is to put the emphasis on the land again. The land, the soil, the plants that grow in that, in that land. So we look at rewilding as a two, two stage process. Rewilding the land, allowing land to actually do what it wants to do, to, for what needs to grow, where it needs to grow and how it needs to grow, with ideally as little human interference. The second part, which we're also fascinated by, and some are, are more into this than the other part, is inner rewilding, in, inner rewilding the human. And what does that mean? Going wild up on the moor? Yes, maybe. Bringing in some element of wildness into our daily life. Looking at the wildness in, in our urban, mainly urban lives. Look at the wild plants that grow through the cracks of the pavement. Looking at wild feelings, wild emotions within us. There's a whole range of practices which we're exploring and using involving thinking like a tree, becoming animal, becoming deer, becoming fox. Trying to, trying to get out of this very human mindset. The human mindset that's kind of brought consumerism and capitalism and human exploitation very much to to the forefront, which has kind of got us into this mess at the moment. So, inner rewilding, human rewilding, and soil and land rewilding. And so, what would I do with some money and some support from Campfire? We're looking at buying a piece of land for Extinction Rebellion rewilding, so that as well as joining up all the people around the UK and all around the world that are doing this in their own way on their bits of land, on public land, we actually have a piece of land where we can go and camp and spend time together, but plant and bring experts and do this in a very physical, practical way, as well as talk about it. We want a piece of land that can be used as an inspiring retreat space.